Hey guys, what's up? It's the Epic Cuber here, and welcome to my tutorial on how to solve a 3x3x4. Okay, so there's a couple of things I need to go over before we get started. First of all, I'm going to tell you the general strategy. We're going to start and we're going to solve one of the middle slices of the puzzle. So if I have the white on top, this is a white colored puzzle so it has black stickers. I would have, I'd be solving this layer first. Also, if you do a right turn or an F turn, they have to be 180 degrees because this is not a shape shifting puzzle. So if I were to turn it 90, there would be no more turns to complete. So since we're starting from this middle bit, we're going to basically pretend that these two are a solid layer. So this will be U. This will be U prime. This will be U. So these have just pretend that they're fused together. All right, so why don't we go ahead and get started? I've gone ahead and scrambled my puzzle. One thing that you're going to need to know before we get started is your color scheme. The reason that we need to know our color scheme is because since it's a 3x3x4, there is an odd layered and an even layered bit. If you have an even layered, that means that there's no center. And so that means that these colors can interchange. Whereas on a 3x3, each center is fixed because it is even layered. All right, so if I have white on top, which in this case is black, I know that I need to have blue right here. So if white's facing towards me, blue needs to be on top. And since green is opposite blue, that means that green needs to be here. So let's go ahead and do that first. So I know that green needs to be right here. So all I do is I look around the puzzle and I find the green piece and I bring it above its respective color and I turn it 180 degrees. So there, green is in place. Next, I need blue, which is actually already in place, but if it was not, you would just do the same as the green. And then I know that I need red to the right of the white. Hey, that rhymed. So all I do is I line up the red above its respective place, and I turn it 180 degrees, and that's an alignment. So, and since orange is opposite red, I know that this here needs to be orange. So all I do is turn this 180 degrees, and just like that, my color scheme is in place. And if you're not sure if you got it right, you can always look at a corner. So I'm looking at the corner, and this is facing up, and it's matched up with this respective color. And I see that green is here, and red is here. And if you look at them, you can line them up and see that they're the correct colors. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with placing the corners. Okay, this is where our first algorithm comes into play. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to look for an edge piece. And let's just say I want to solve the green and red edge piece first. So I just look around my puzzle for the green and edge red piece, and there's actually two of them. I see that one is right here, and I turn it above its respective area. Now this looks like all it needs to do is switch places with this. And if I were to do the algorithm that I'm going to show you, it would be put in backwards. So we actually need a color that is swapped around the opposite direction. So let me pick a different color. Okay, right here. I have the blue and the orange. Same thing as before. So this is not the correct one because remember, if I do my algorithm, this it'll turn this piece around and swap these two. So I look for the other one. I see this right here. I bring it above its respective colors. So these two need to be opposing. So I have the orange with the blue and the blue with the orange. And I perform this algorithm. R, U, R, U prime, R and that place that corner in. So now I just go over and I look for another one. Let's do the orange and green. So I just turn the corner piece above its, the edge piece, excuse me, above its respective area, and that is right here. The colors are opposite, so I know that it'll work. So I do the algorithm again, R, U, R, U prime, R. And there, that is now in place. So then I just keep moving around the puzzle. And now I can do this one, right here. 
So I just do it. And remember, they need to be opposing colors. Let me just give a quick demonstration of what would happen if it were the same color. You just do your algorithm, and it would be backwards. So I need this edge piece. Turn it to above its respective place. Opposing colors, R, U, R, U prime, R. There it is, one more to go. And this is the red and the blue. So I just look around my puzzle for it. This isn't it because the colors are matching. So I just turn it one more and there it is. Opposing colors, do the algorithm one more time. R, U, R, U prime, R. And there, we've solved the first bit of the puzzle. So now that you've finished the first layer, we can now move on to the second. We're first going to solve the edges on the second inside layer. So what you're going to be looking for are a pair of headlights. These are headlights. These headlights are two solid colors pointing in the same direction. And if you don't have any of those, don't worry, just do the algorithm and you'll get a pair. So the algorithm that I'm going to show you swaps these two edge pieces. So hold the headlights on the left and perform this algorithm. R, U, R, U prime, R, U prime, D, R, U prime, R, U, R. And there, we've solved the edges. Now that we've solved the edges, we need to learn two more algorithms. One of the algorithms swaps the two centers oppos opposing each other. So you have the red would swap with the green center. The other algorithm swaps two centers diagonally. So that would be the orange would swap with the red. So I normally try and do the ones where it swaps them from across the puzzle because it's a little bit of an easier algorithm. So I'm going to look around for one of those. Okay, I see that this green piece needs to swap with this red piece because then I will get a solid color green. So all I do is I hold the puzzle to where the green is facing towards me and I perform this algorithm. R, U2, R, U2, R, U2. And see how that swapped these two centers and now we have a solid color side solved. Okay, so let's look around for another one of those to perform. And I see that I have one right here. This orange can go here and solve this face. So let's go ahead and do the algorithm again. So again, hold it towards facing towards you and you perform this algorithm one more time. R, U2, R, U2, R, U2. And that's two out of four done. So now, the only thing that we need to do to solve the center is to swap these two. So you hold it to where you have the one that needs to be swapped on the right and in front of you, and you do this algorithm. R, U, R, U, R, U2, R, U2, R, U, R, U prime, R. And just like that, you solve the center of it. So all we need to do is solve the top and the bottom face. Okay, so now we can solve the top and the bottom face. So I have the white that I've been solving on the top. I want to turn that to where it's facing down. I'm going to add a little bit of something to this. I presented an idea of a workspace in a previous video, but we're going to do that again. Our workspace is going to be on the right side of the puzzle. And what that basically means is we're not going to do any cube rotations. So every algorithm that we're going to do, we're going to make sure that our workspace is on the left of the puzzle. So that means what I'm going to need to do is solve the bottom cross. I see that I have the red and the blue. And I need to put the red right here because then it would line up. So I turn it above its respective color, and I do a 180 degree turn. But notice how that swapped this center bit around. So all I do is I make sure that I keep this on the right. You definitely don't want to turn this around or else you will scramble the puzzle. So then I turn around to the green, which needs to go opposite blue, do a 180 degree turn, and the centers are solved again. But now I have three placed in. So I need to do one more for the cross. So I turn it back and make sure I don't turn it at all. I turn the orange above, its, above the workspace. I do a 180 degree turn. And there is the bottom cross solved. 
Now we're going to place the edges. And these edges are the same algorithm that we did before, except now we're going to use the single bit rather than these two slide, sliding together. The algorithm that we used before to swap these two edges is the same one that we're going to use. So I see that I have the white, blue, and red. So I want to find the white, blue, and red place where the edge piece needs to go. A corner piece, excuse me. And I see that it is right here. So I turn it next to my workspace. And I bring that corner piece above it. And I do the algorithm. R, U, R, U prime, R. And that place that corner. So now I look for another one. Here is the green, orange, and white. So I look for the green, orange, and white, which is right here. Turn it above my workspace. I do the algorithm. R, U, R, U prime, R. And that place that in. So I look for the next. This is the blue and orange, and it's already above the workspace. So everything's all set up. Do the algorithm again. R, U, R, U prime, R. Now I just need one more corner to place in. It's right here. So I turn this by my workspace. I do the algorithm again. R, U, R, U prime, R. And that solved the bottom face. All right, so now we are on to our final step, and that is to solve the top face. So it's the same algorithm that we used before to swap these two edges apart from each other. So we look for headlights. I have a pair right here. The centers don't matter yet. So I have the headlights here. I do the algorithm. And once again, once again, if you don't have the headlights, then just do it twice and you will get a headlight. So you hold the headlights to your left and you do the algorithm. R, U, R, U prime, R, U prime, D, R, U prime, R, U, R. And there, let's swap those around. And now we can continue to solve the inside edges. All right, so now all we're going to do is to solve these edges. And these are the same algorithms that we used before for the centers. So I wanna look for the ones to swap because that's what I start with. And I see that this blue can come here and solve this. So I do the algorithm, R, U2, R, U2, R, and that solved the blue face. So then I look for another to swap. And these two can actually swap. This red goes over here with the red and the green would come here, but it would solve the red face. So then I do the algorithm again. R, U2, R, U2, R, U2. And there, now I just have one left and this is the diagonal swap. So then I do the algorithm that swaps these two diagonals. The algorithm is R, U, R, U, R, U2, R, U2, R, U, R, U prime, R. And then you just reposition it. Okay, so you very well could have ended up with something that looks like this to where you have everything else solved, but this is actually flipped, up, flipped over. If you were to turn it like this, it would solve the centers, but it would mess up the top and the bottom. This is actually parity. This is the same parity that we get on the two by two by three, but it's a different algorithm. The algorithm is, well, first of all, hold it to where it's facing you. So you have the two that are wrong on the left and the right, and you do this algorithm. Both you faces, 180 degrees, and R, and F, the inside you face, 180 degrees, an F, an R, and a U2. So at this point, you should have solved your Rubik's Cube. I want to thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like. If you'd like more content, please subscribe. So everyone, have an epic day. Bye.